Today, airports across the U.S. are bracing for busy terminals as we approach the holiday weekend. Salt Lake City International Airport, one of them. Our April Baker is live out there this morning. April, are those crowds starting to roll in? Good morning, John and Carrie. Yeah, I just looked around. It looks like a ghost town behind me, so I'm going to say not quite yet. It's been ebbing and flowing, though, this morning. The airport telling me today and tomorrow are expected to be the busiest travel days with 27,000 people each day. If you're one of them, they tell me... Um, you should get there two hours before a domestic flight and three hours before international and tra track your flight status. There have been countless delays and cancellations because of weather and staffing. Right now, FlightAware reports six cancellations. That's up by two within the last hour. While the airport itself can't do anything to change your flight status, they're now trying to improve your experience in other ways. A lot of people who have been to the airport, they're familiar where the security checkpoint is, the main security checkpoint. But during the winter season, we added a backup security checkpoint, and it's located on the first level. Less than a month ago, the airport also introduced a service called Sky Squad. It assigns an assistant to parents, seniors, and people with disabilities who may need help at navigating the airport and carrying bag. This morning, off-duty Delta pilots will be picketing here at the airport, demanding better wages and better schedules. The airport does tell me that they have taken the steps necessary to make sure that the picket does not impact this busy travel day. Reporting live at the Salt Lake City International Airport, April Baker, Fox 13 News, Utah.